You're on SBS Pop Asia's K Wave, and I'm Rome, the leader of K pop boy band C Clown. For now, it's one of the best parts of the show answering your questions from Facebook and Twitter. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm just gonna go straight into it. And the first one is at Thompson. And this person says, If you had to enter an Australian reality, reality show, what would it be? Um, okay, this is a very good question. I think the one Australian reality show that I've ever wanted to go on ever since I was a kid actually would have to be I mean they should bring back Cheese TV. Do they still have Cheese TV? I'm not sure. I haven't been in Australia for a while, but I'm pretty sure they do not have Cheese TV anymore. It's been out for quite some time and I I love the Cheese TV guys. I know some of you guys are like what's that? But a lot of you guys in Australia would know what I'm talking about. Oh, how did it go? Cheese TV! <laughs> Cheese TV! And uh, it's just one of the best, best shows that I would always wake up to. Always look forward to watching. Love the hosts on the show. Um, but definitely, 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 Cheese TV has to be the one. Next one is at Crown Lemon. Is it possible to bring all of your members in and host a radio show together? That's my request, and that is a beautiful request. I was actually going to do that um, next week. Yeah, I was actually going to do that next, but oh god, I kind of slipped. Most my tongue slipped, and I told you guys already. Oh oh, shouldn't have done that. But um, yeah, there you go. Yes, you will have C Clown in next week. Uh, okay, next one is Animac. Hi Rome. What's the funniest, strangest things you ever caught on camera? Do you have a favorite film project? Uh, yeah, the, the most crazy thing I've ever caught on film would probably have to be a live earthquake. Yes, I was in an earthquake once, um, and it was just uh, one of those moments where I guess my my camera was just I just kept filming it. It was just it kept rolling. I you know I decided never to upload the footage because it can kind of disturb. A lot of people out there, I know there have been a lot of earthquakes around the world, natural disasters, and、um, it's not a very pleasant thing. So definitely one of the most craziest things I've ever caught、uh, on film, and、um, yeah, it was just a scary moment. I remember just everything just started shaking, and I was with TK, and、um, I said, you know, to myself, "Is this really happening?" I, it just kind of struck me, and I was really scared. And、uh, I think TK was really scared too, but I forgot that my film was、uh, rolling. I just actually, I literally forgot that it kept rolling. And I think it was only about the day after when I decided to upload my files on the computer, I saw the footage of when we were actually in the earthquake. And yeah, guys, like I said, I'm not going to upload this footage because I know a lot of people can be disturbed by the、um, the footage itself. So definitely one of the most craziest things ever. And、uh, next one is from Terry G. What is your favorite accessory?、Uh, my most favorite accessory would have to be rings. But you know, now you know if you kind of talk about accessories, I really tend to think about the accessories that go on cameras. You know, whether it be、uh, like a shoulder rig or you know a little case for it. I'm just kind of crazy about filming and cameras and all that, so you guys know what I mean, okay? I love all accessories. <laughs> Next one is from Stayra, and she says, "What was your favorite che-、uh, shows on Cheese TV?" Oh, see, look, guys, I don't read your questions beforehand, but you guys already know that I like Cheese TV and stuff like that. Did you ever wake up too early and had to watch the aerobics? Guess what? I work. I woke up just early enough to watch the aerobics. The <laughs> no, but seriously, Cheese TV was one of my most favorite、uh, TV shows that hosted shows like Pokemon. And yes, Pokemon was my favorite back then.、Uh, yeah, you gotta catch them all. And I remember Pokemon. Pokemon used to host、uh, little rap medleys that they had at the beginning of their shows. I'm not sure if anyone can remember that, but everyone had to memorize those raps. In primary school, because that was just the cool thing to do, and I don't remember it. I was like, Nidoran, Mankey, Ratata, Pidget, 
Fury something. Oh gosh, it was a rap, but I think that was when my rap career started. <laughs> good on you, Pokemon, and good on you for your questions. More questions, please. You can send those on Twitter at Rome underscore C Clown, at SBS Pop Asia, or just post on the SBS Pop Asia Facebook page. Here is some Mamamoo now with Mr. Ambiguous on SBS Pop Asia with Rome. This is SBS Pop Asia's K Wave with Rome from C Clown. You can tweet me at Rome underscore C Clown at SBS Pop Asia or post on the Pop Asian Facebook page. I hope I can answer them all. And this is one from Wills and the hashtag SBS Pop Asia at Rome underscore C Clown. When you're in Korea, do you still celebrate holidays like Australia Day, Anzac, etc? Sadly, no, because in Korea there is no Australia Day. It's more like Korea Day. They have Korea Day, or like the Chinese New Year festival. I know, I know they celebrate that in Australia as well. But I do celebrate Australia Day secretly at home in my little dorm in Korea. So don't worry about that, my fellow Aussies. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I kind of miss that spirit in Australia um, because I'm in Korea now, you know. But anyway, next question: What's it like backstage at shows like Music Bank, Music Core, Inkigayo, etc.? Honestly, guys, uh, it's really, really boring <laughs> because there's a waiting period. There's like a waiting time that you have to wait before you go on stage, and that's so long. Uh, unless you have friends, of course, um, in other groups, which I tend to have. But during my early years, when I first debuted. I didn't have that many friends in other groups. I mean, now I'm fine, but back then, since you don't know anyone and you're a shinin, like a new, that's a term in Korean for a newbie, <laughs> an amateur, uh, honestly, you just, all you do is like wait, 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 play with your phone, play with your iPad, etc., and wait. Uh, but during that time, I had a lot of fun. So, I don't know, it's just really, really. It's not as big as you would think it would be, but it's fun when you meet up with friends like, uh, you know, New East, B2B, and all these other groups out there, but it's just really fun. So, here, uh, let's go to our Facebook again, and this is from Saray Cook, SBS, Pop Asia. Okay, hey Rome, do you think more Korean groups, Korean groups will be doing more overseas tours in the future like BAP in Australia? Definitely, um, I was talking to Yongjae. Uh, of BAP, and he told me that Australia was seriously one of the most, like the best countries that he's ever been to, and he would love to go there once again. Because I did play basketball with him not long ago, and he's yeah, he's a better player than me. But <laughs> guys, I'm not a very good basketball player. I told you guys that. And um, yeah, as we we're playing ball, he was telling me about how how much he had fun in Australia, and he'll definitely love to go back there. But um, as for other K-pop groups definitely Australia is on the way of um, getting a lot of attention from K-pop, from actual K-pop groups. So yes, definitely, definitely, and definitely. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for your messages and posts. Now, if you're listening on the Pop Asia website or a digital radio, remember you can listen from anywhere around the world if you download the Pop Asia app. It's totally for free on your mobile phone. Coming up on the K Wave, uh, guys, you know, I'll definitely love to read some more of your tweets and messages because it's just one of the moments where I really, really enjoy um, just being on radio. It's when I get to read your tweets and messages. So please send in more tweets and I'll read them out. So yeah, here is Temin with Danger. <laughs> We're back on SPS Pop Asia with Rome on the K-Wave and it's time to read some more of your messages. I love doing this. Here's one from uh, at Trollzoned and this person says, Rome, why are you so handsome? Because I am a ham and I have a lot of sum. So it's like handsome. I have a hand and a sum. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I hope that clears up a lot of things. Okay, so here is one from at Melly underscore Mato. What is your favorite English song? Guys, this is so hard. Oh, okay, I'm just going to look into my iPod right now. I do not have a favorite English song because I love all songs. But the song that I was listening to right now was um, uh, Options by Party Next Door. Okay, that's just one of the songs that I was listening to. One of my favorites. Okay, um, 
Mm. And this one is from at Lil Blueberry Lou, and this person says, "Are you even going to answer any of these questions?" I am. I'm answering your question right now. That's a very good thing. I'm answering your question right now, and I'll read two more before I go. And here is at Son Patricia. When will the new episode of CTC series be? I really miss it a lot. CTC, yes, you're. I like I said before, you are going to expect quite a blast from the new episodes of CTC. It is more prepared by the. It's more professional. It is more amazing, and you guys will just love it. Mm, mm, mm. But guys, uh, I will be doing this a lot. I will be answering all your tweets and messages. So please keep them coming in. I think it's a really, really, really good thing that we do here, answering and reading all your messages. But yeah, that's about it, guys. And、uh, we'll start with some more music now with the K-pop girl group AOA. Short hair.、Whoa. This is the K-Wave with Rome from Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. That's it for this week's show. Thank you so much for joining me and sending in your questions. We'll be together again next Thursday after hashtag hits with Jamaica and Andy. So if you want to hear this show again on demand, head to sbs.com.au/popasia. The repeat schedules are there too. This weekend, C Clown has quite a lot prepared, especially because I'll be filming the new CTC. So do not miss that out. I'll be giving continuous updates. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also on Sunday, new time from September the seventh, it's Pop Asia TV, nine a.m. nine a.m. on SBS two. Look out for more music videos! Yay! Now let's have one last dance, guys. All together now. Here's on SBS Pop Asia. Goodbye, bye from me and from Newies. See what I did there, guys? Newies, Newies music access? No, no. Okay, so here it is, guys. Enjoy, and I'll see you next week. Bye.